Today in the DBF garage, you guys have spoken and I've listened. So let's see if we can get this motorcycle lift finished up, safer and more usable. Last week's video I asked you what project I need to focus on and get done first and boy did you guys answer that holy cow I love that you guys are commenting on my videos I read every single last reply the old motorcycle lift I'm gonna finish this thing up so first things first on this project I'm gonna add a ramp to it a safety lock and I'm gonna change up this tire vise quite a bit. And if there's enough time and if the weather will work with us through the next three days, we might even throw a little bit of sh -sh 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 paint on this thing and make it all pretty and whatnot. But let's get rolling. First thing on the list to finish this thing is the rear ramp off the back. I've been bouncing the front end up over or lifting the front end up over ever since I got this thing going together. So the plan to attach this is I'm going to take some 3 8 cold rolled round and weld to the top, extend it out about, oh yay far, with a 90 degree hook on it, and then when we're done, I'll take and drill like some 3 8 or 7 16 right around there, holes in the top of the table and the ramp will come over and just hook on the end of it and that way it's easily removed and it should support the weight of a bike no problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and trim the corner of this ramp off because as it sits now this actually overlaps the outside of here and I want it to mount flush up against the back of the actual table itself so I'm gonna take and trim this excess piece off here, and later on I'll go down, use a plasma table, and I'll cut a filler piece that goes in here that will actually do two things. It'll help box this in and give this a little bit more strength this way. So when you drive the machine up on it, it'll tend less to bend this right here. So first things first, let's get the corners cut off. would not make a very good left-handed person. My mother's left-handed and she gets by extremely well. So, maybe I'd be all right. Love you, mom. I'm going to cut a gusset to go underneath the ramp. So what do you do there is I got my poster board here, got magnets holding it up against the side and I'll just take and just trace that out cut it out, transfer it over to the metal, and then put it in the machine and cut it out. A lot easier than cutting it out by hand. So I got a buddy that's got a uh, Arc Droid plasma table and uh, went down, took my patterns, cut these things out. Let me show you what we got. So what I've got, this is the center rib that's gonna go inside of here for support. Here's the front piece to the ramp that's gonna go up against here. These will be the pivot brackets for the lock arm. And these will actually be the lock for the safety. I'm gonna go ahead, get the grinder and get the plasma slag cut off of these or chipped off of them, smoothed up, cleaned up, and uh, we'll start assembling this thing. Get the old, actually the We'll see if we can melt these things together with some uh, liquid metal, the old metal glue. Well, crap. 
I'm out of CO2. And uh, yeah, it's a Saturday before New Year's. <laughs> There's nowhere open in this small little town to get more gas. Fantastic. It's not fantastic. So what I've done is I've taken my argon bottle for my TIG welder and just ran the regulator up to that bottle. And it's not ideal for MIG welding steel, but this should work good enough to get this thing tacked and put into place and kind of mock everything up. And hopefully I can come up with a bottle sometime this weekend to finish this up. Next step is I'm gonna let the table down, put the ramp towards the back of it, level it out, and figure out how long I need the hooks to be, and install the hooks, and then we'll move on to the safety latch. Oh yeah. What do you think, buddy? Think that'll work? I think it'll work all right. You're a stinker. You're a stinker. You're a stinker. Good help. Yep. What are you doing? You being a camera hog? Huh? You being a camera hog? That's crazy. These dogs are nuts. They're nuts. You gonna help me drill some holes? What? As soon as the work starts, you leave? Typical. Ah! Cool. Let's weld them babies on, shall we? Now we'll come off of there, bud. Oh yeah, look at that. Fancy. I like it. Now, just drill some holes in the bottom that that can go into. Baby can store right there so you can walk around while you're working on whatever you're working on. Awesome. Well, good morning. Last night where we left off, I ended up getting the ramp all finished on this thing. So on today's agenda, we are gonna hook up the locks or uh, the safety latches on this thing. So let's get going. So what I'm gonna use for the latch on this thing, well actually the arm for the latch, is this one inch DOM, eighth inch wall round tubing. Now this is not pipe, this is round tubing. And the reason you use tubing over pipe is pipe is actually designed to hold pressure this way, not this way. Tubing is more structural and will be a lot less resistant to bend, kink, or be damaged under pressure this way or this way. Where pipe is a lot softer and uh, just doesn't quite have the uh, rigidity and strength as DOM tubing does. Here's the locks that go on the lower legs and basically how this is going to work is as the table rises up, it's going to come over, hit these, hit these, hit these, and then we'll let it down and that'll latch into the locks just like so. So the way the upper half of this is going to work is I've got these tabs I cut out on the plasma table and there's a bushing that rides freely on the inside of this bolt and this will weld to that bushing like so 
and as the table rises and lowers, this will move freely, kind of like so. So, I'm going to go ahead, get the uh, bushing welded on the end of the tubing, and uh, go ahead and tack these on the upper arm, and see if we can make this work. Perfect. 18 three quarters ish. Give or take a seven sixty fourths. Okay. Nice. I know, I know. Put the helmet on. Don't worry, I got the safety squints. Now the trick, so those fit in there and the bolt go all the way through. Come on, baby. anywhere that's awesome should we go up with it see what she does go down too much those are just tacked but yeah you get the idea awesome I feel confident enough I can uh, weld this and make it permanent perfect excuse me whose three-wheeler is that Missy yeah she definitely rules the roost Let me show you one thing I did do, forgot to film, you know, got in the zone, whatever. And anyways, I just put a little, little hook up on the, you know, safety mechanism device, you know, not collapse and kill you thing or. That little fella right there. So when you want this down, you just lift that up. Try to do this one handed, move it out of the way. Let her down. In place, up out of the way. So that turned out pretty dang good. So now, really, all that's left is to let this thing down and go dig out my bike over yonder way that's buried and uh, roll it up on and make sure everything still works like it should. Let's see what we can do. Time to play the old dirt bike shuffle. You need that one <laughs> back there. Jeez. Too bad I uh, don't have a way of stacking bikes up on the wall this way yet. Excuse me, can you unthrone your throne please so I can access my stuff? Jeez, I tell ya. Come on, get down. Good job, thanks. Oh, it's so much better. Ah. Oh yeah. 
That baby ain't going nowhere. Well, this thing turned out pretty excellent, actually. I'm super thrilled with it. But uh, that's as far as we're gonna get today because, as you can see, the old 2018 CR500 is on lift because I gotta do a service on it because tomorrow is New Year's Day and we do an annual New Year's Day ride with a group of friends. So I'm actually gonna paint this thing. So my question is, what color should I paint this thing? Should I paint it, I don't know. You tell me. I'm thinking red because I'm a Honda guy and you know, kind of the house of Honda, but I'm open to about anything. So go ahead, drop a comment down below and tell me what color you think I should paint this motorcycle table. I know I said in the beginning of the video we was gonna work on the wheel clamp too, but that's not gonna happen. I'm running out of time. Speaking of running out of time, you guys are used to seeing my videos come out on Wednesdays, but I'm gonna have to move my videos to come out on Fridays. That gives me two more extra days of editing and you know just wrapping up loose ends because I'm doing all this stuff on the weekends and editing throughout the week and it's just it's just too much going on so I just need that two extra days to do some editing. So for future reference from here on out as of 2024 my videos will be coming out on Fridays. So as always I appreciate every single one of you and thanks for watching. <laughs>